Welcome to my channel. If you're returning, thank you for returning. And welcome to the fam. Come back, chit chat. See what's going on with me, all right? <laughs> so today what I have is a beautiful review on my new Y wig. And as you can see, it's amazing. So I actually colored it and styled it and installed by myself, okay? So your girl has been working on her technique and I'm loving it. So I came up with the name Scrawberry, I Not strawberry, Scrawberry. Like scraw, like a straw, Scrawberry. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm special. But anyways, if you guys are interested in seeing how I colored, cut, styled this wig, then make sure you stay tuned and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already, all right? So here is the Body Wave wig at its original state. As you can see, it's dark brown. I got it in the color four. Um, it's like a natural brown color. So I thought that would be better for bleaching the hair because it would be easier for me than just starting off with black hair. And as you guys can see here, I am parting the wig into four different sections and I have my lemon of foil on the side. I am gonna be using the bleaching powder and the liquid i will have the link below and the names of everything below i don't know the exact name so please forgive me but i'm just showing you guys how i mix it up right here here i'm showing a quick clip of how I actually bleached the hair. If you guys are interested in more details, then just let me know in the comment section below and I'll have a separate video for that. And here I'm showing you guys in my bathroom how the hair looks before I washed it out. I did bleach the knots as well as the whole wig. I actually gave it more like a highlight effect. And I have my neutralizing shampoo. This is great shampoo to make sure that we get all of the bleach out of the wig. Here I'm showing you guys how the wig looks once I washed it with the neutralizing shampoo. And here is the wig on the actual mannequin so you guys can have a better view. Now I'm showing you guys how I pluck my baby hairs in the front. This is the best technique to make sure that your wig actually looks more natural because no one has a thick natural hairline. I mean, there's probably someone out there, but mm, it doesn't look good, okay? So what I do is just pluck the front of the wig and part it, of course. Um, I just pluck one section, skip a section, pluck, a skip, ugh, pluck and skip a section, okay? So that makes sure that you don't have any ball spots. This is how the wig looks once it's been plucked and customized by yours truly. Now, this is how my wig looks after I let it dry for about a day. Um, this is about a two day process and I'm showing you guys my purple hair color that I'm using. It's by Adore. I will have the actual name below and I'm mixing that color with my conditioner and using a conditioner is great because it's conditioning your hair while it's actually coloring the hair and then it actually gives you more product so that's a little trick for me so as you can see i am coloring the hair in four sections i have this little styrofoam mannequin and it's not working as well for me for this coloring so please forgive me if it's 
a little bit sloppy, but it doesn't matter because once you see the end result, well, you did in the beginning. It came out perfect to me. You want to make sure your hair is really saturated with that color. Um, I'm just focusing on the outside, really, the parts of the hair that you can actually see. And then I'm going in with the roots and just massaging the color into the wig. Um, I am using a purple dye as well as like a ruby red kind of dye. Like I said, I'm going to have the link below or the description of the exact color. But I'm just mixing those colors together and... On certain parts, I'm just putting the red color. Certain parts, I'm just putting the purple color. So I can have different kind of highlights. I do like highlights. They look cuter to me than just one solid color. In this clip, I'm focusing on the roots. I want to make sure that I don't get the dye on the lace because that won't be cute. Um, so what I'm doing is really taking my time. I did speed up this video, so I actually am going slower than what you're seeing. But you want to take your time closer to the roots. And I kind of just push forward with the, you know, the brush so I can make sure that I'm just not pressing in the dye with the brush, if that makes any sense, you know? Now, massaging is the key to dyeing your hair. You want to make sure that you're getting this dye on all the roots. So that's what you're basically seeing me do here. I'm just going into each section and just making sure that I got every section colored. So... This is the final product. I hope you guys liked it. It did take me a couple of days to do it because first what I did was um, bleach the hair and I let it air dry. And then I colored it, let that air dry, then I styled it. And this is the final product. I'm loving it so far. It's a beautiful color for the spring. As you see, I got the purple, the red. I had a strand of blue in here, so it's like a little dark purple, but... I'm loving it. I like highlights. I don't like just one simple color. <laughs> really, baby? <laughs> but yeah, it's not one simple color. You can see all the colors in here. And I'm just looking like a snack. Strawberry. <laughs> baby, shut up. <laughs> Excuse me, mommy in the background. I'm trying to imitate me. But yes, like I said, I'm looking like, like a, a snack. 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 <laughs> strawberry. Like a strawberry. Strawberry, strawberry, babe. Say strawberry. Strawberry. Strawberry, like you said. Strawberry. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you're so simple. Oh, man. Anyways, if you guys are interested in seeing how I curled and rod my hair, then leave it in the comment section below and I will do a video on that as well. I do want to thank you guys for checking out my channel. I do love all your support you guys are giving me. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. Alright. So until next time.